All right. Are we ready? Okay. So, the just so you can check and see if you're right with your partner before you come up here. The answer to this one is ten thousand, and the answer to this one is eight thousand. So, decide whether you're going to come up here. All right, raise your hand if you're interested in coming up here and explaining. Just one per partner set, please. Nolan, were you just on your way up here? Come up here. One per partner set. One, two, three, four, five. Go up there. Oh, okay, yeah, we have the number two. Number two and five. Two, you get to pick first. You want B or C? Okay. All right, one of you writes, one of you talks. Okay. So each Oh, you talk by the computer so people at home can hear you, please? Now. Okay. <laughs> so each digit can be repeated. So there's 10 digits, so you can just put like each digit. You know what I mean? So it'd be 10 digits. <laughs> so you can put 1111 one, 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 and then like, you know, you have all 10 options. You have all 10 options to do for each digit. So. Nice. Good job, Cole. Great. Yeah. It's been a while now. <laughs> Cool, you that Thank you. Alrighty. Go for it. For the second one, the only rule is that you can't use one or zero, the first number, which makes it eight numbers you put there, and then just the ten for each, each of the other ones, because there's no rules. You can use all the numbers. That has up to 8,000, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget our prize, Gustavo. How many zeros is that? <laughs> Three? Zeros are in a thousand. Five. Oh, more. Is that it? No. 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 More. No. 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 Don't believe Andrew. All right. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to play the lion game, which will be fun, but uh, you cannot, I want to tell you right now, uh, do not count on, what is today, Tuesday? So do not count on any work time um, tomorrow during class. This assignment is going to take you, like, Ten minutes. Um, I do want at least one tree diagram. So it's going to very much say, like, um, how many options are there for this, how many options are there for that. Um, I would strongly suggest, if you want something that is easy, that you pick for your tree diagram, I would pick number 18 or 19. So it's just basically uh, identify the sample space and determine how many in outcomes are in there. So number 15 says, guessing the initial of a student's middle name, how many possibilities are there? 26. 26. And you don't have to write out A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can just write 26, all the letters of the alphabet. What? No. I think we're, we're just counting English, although it didn't specify. So thanks for being really serious about it, Nolan. I know that you really care about the quality of the questions in this book. All right, you've got about eight minutes right now. You could easily get most, if not all, of this done. How many hours did you get last night? Not many. I'm doing nothing. All right, she 
sign it. We'll put it on the wall. I'm going to get serious about this again. Now that the play is done, I can think about other things besides this morning when I was panicking about math league. Because that's a thing I do too, I guess. Just anywhere? Yeah. So oh, it's so cute. I love drafts. Isn't that nice pigeon? I like the pigeon. It's the first thing I've missed I am not hating my, uh, except for this part right here where I got it messed up, but I think the Powderpuff Girls turned out okay. Lotto's creepy. I made his eyes really creepy. But he's a creepy dude. One eyebrow's bigger than the other one. What? Yeah, he's still lifting up an eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> but eyebrows are always symmetrical. Nobody ever makes facial expressions. 15. Oh, I'm going to pull it. 